Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia World. Last lecture we discussed about echo and reflection of sound and we saw the theory behind it. Today what we will do is uh, using the knowledge gained in the last lecture, we will solve a couple of numericals. So let us get started. We have seen in our discussion of echo that uh, a minimum of 17 meters is required between the observer and the obstacle for the echo to be heard. Now this question asks something similar. The only difference is it is asking for the echo to be heard in water. Okay, so we need to find the minimum distance inside water. If both the observer and the obstacle is inside water, what is the minimum distance that has to be there for the echo to be heard? Now what is the difference uh, between this situation and the previous situation? The difference is the velocity of sound. Here the velocity of sound, the velocity of sound is much faster in water. It is approximately 1400 meter per second. Whereas in air it was roughly 340 meter per second. So with this background let us uh, try to solve this question. What are the data that are given? we know that the velocity is 1400 meter per second. Second thing we know that the minimum time gap that we need between the original sound and the reflected sound should be 0 0.1 second for the human ear to be able to perceive them differently. So these are the facts that are provided to us. Now let us draw a diagram, say this is the observer and say this is the obstacle. So you need to find this distance, minimum distance dm so that the sound has at least 0.1 second to travel back after reflection. Therefore, what is the total distance being traveled by the sound? The total distance that the sound has to travel is from here to here and back from here to here. So it is 2 times of d minimum. Now with this data we can say that distance is velocity times the time. Right, this is the basic definition of distance. So just replacing the values here, total distance is 2 times dm, the velocity is 1400 meter per second and my time minimum is 0 0.1 second. On simplifying this, we will get dm is for 140 upon 2, that is 70 meter. So this is the minimum distance inside water for echo to be able to be heard. This is quite large than what was in air. In air it was roughly 17 meter, but here the minimum distance is 70 meter. So the object obstacle should be 70 meters away from the observer for the echo to be heard. Let us see another question now. Here the question states that a person is standing between two large obstacles and uh, he makes a loud noise. As a result of that he hears two echoes. One is after 10 seconds and a second after 12 seconds. Now we need to find out the distance between the two large obstacles. So let us uh, try to picturize the situation. Let's say here is an obstacle and another obstacle is here. The person is standing somewhere in between. Let's say here. Now 
there are two echoes so the echo which is heard earlier will be obviously from the obstacle which is closer let's say this is the closer obstacle so the echo from this takes 10 seconds and from the other obstacle it will take 12 seconds therefore using these values we can find the distance between the person and obstacle 1 and the person and obstacle 2 and if we add those two together we'll get the total distance between the obstacles let me call this as obstacle 1 and this as the second obstacle now for the first time taken is 10 second let the distance distance be d1 and since there is no velocity speed of uh, sound given to us uh, we'll assume one of the values which we have studied let's assume 340 meters per second I will do the calculation using this value but if the question explicitly mentions you the value then you need to use that particular value here I'll use 340 meter per second so the velocity is 340 meter per second using this information I can say that the total distance traveled if this is d1 then the total distance traveled will be d1 plus d1 2d1 so 2d1 is the total distance traveled and this should be equal to that velocity times the time right velocity into time is the total distance therefore we can simplify it by saying that d1 is 340 multiplied by 10 upon 2 this gives me 1700 meter so the distance between the observer and the first obstacle is 1700 meter similarly we can calculate the second obstacle distance time is 12 second velocity is uh, same 340 I'll take distance as d1 therefore that total distance traveled by sound will be 2d uh, d2 I'll take the distance d2 so the total distance traveled is 2d2 and similar to this equation again velocity into time this time is time 2 let's say time 2 this will give me d2 is 340 12 upon 2 this is 6 34 6 to 20 so this turns out to be 2040 meter so we have found out that this is 2040 meter and this is 10 rather 1700 meter therefore total distance let me write it up here total distance between obstacle can be easily calculated as 1700 plus 2040 that turns out to be 3740 meter so you see that using the concept of echo we can find distance between objects if we know the velocity or if we know the distance we can find alternatively the velocity of the sound okay I hope these two examples that we discussed today gives you insight about how to approach numericals and I suggest you to try a couple of numericals on your own with this I will conclude today's lecture the next lecture will study what is known as 
free damped and forced vibrations and if possible we will uh, test on the concept of resonance till then have a great day goodbye